Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Ninja interview as well as latest TCS Digital interview experience. These both interviews happened yesterday only, that is on 13th June 2024, and both of these interviews are covered in this video only. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. And guys, from past 10-15 days, I am regularly making videos regarding TCS processes. So earlier I made videos regarding the important interview questions for different different subjects that can be asked in the TCS interview. And from past 3 to 4 days I am making different different interview experiences of different different people. Whether it is a prime role, whether it is a digital role or it is a ninja role. I am covering all these things in on my channel. So make sure that you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Our target is to reach 40,000 subscribers till the end of this month. So help us achieve this target. Because every like and every subscribe motivates us to for making more such videos. And guys, we have also recently launched TCS important interview subject notes. That thing I will discuss in detail in later of this video. So make sure that you are watching this video till the end. So guys, now let's start this video. So guys, first of all, I will be covering the digital interview questions. Okay. So I will only be covering the questions. I will not be giving you the answers because see the questions are almost repeating for every interview. So it is just to give the gist of you that how, what to prepare for your interviews. Okay. So first question, as you all know, is introduce yourself. Very important. Uh, your education background, you can mention your skills, you can mention your projects, you can mention your internships, you can mention your extracurricular activities, you can mention and achievements, you can mention. Next question is explain for loop in Python. So again, it's a very easy question to explain those who know Python. So why the Python question was asked from him because in introduce uh, yourself, he told about the skin skills that he, uh, he is proficient in Python. So therefore Python question was asked. So a for loop in Python is a very basic question. Okay. I hope this is clear to you. Next is Python is what type of language? So Python is interpreted language. So again, one, one line answer. Next is OOPS concept. So again, OOPS concepts are four main OOPS concepts. Abstraction, encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism. Read every OOPS concept in detail because out of these OOPS concept also there can be questions like uh, what is polymorphism, like types of polymorphism, types of inheritance, why this inheritance is not possible, why this inheritance is possible. So all these type of questions can be asked from you. Just prepare OOPS concepts very much well because it's a five star question. 10 out of 10 interviews, this question will be asked from you. Okay. Moving to the next question, difference between method overloading and method overriding. Again, a classical question that can be asked from you. Again, you guys might be thinking that I am repeating question, but the answer is no. These questions are actually getting repeated in TCS interviews, but whether it is a digital role or whether it is a ninja role. Okay. So do prepare these questions by heart. I have told you earlier also that I have made a notes and in those notes also these commonly asked questions are there. Okay. So moving ahead, moving ahead. Uh, explain some questions or there were some questions on DBMS. What were those, these questions? Difference between DDL and DML command. Okay, so what are DDL commands? So those commands which we uh, which require the change in the schema of a database are DDL command. Whereas DML commands are those commands which requires the data manipulation. So those are DML commands. Okay, so moving ahead uh, is next is again difference between truncate and drop. So first of all, both truncate and both drop are DDL commands. So in truncate, using truncate command, what happens is that we uh, using truncate command, we delete all the data present in a table, just that the structure is not deleted. But in the drop command, both data as well as the structure of the table is deleted. So truncate is reversible operation and drop is not reversible operation. So I hope this question is clear to you. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that recently only we have launched TCS important interview subject notes. And in these notes, around 12 topics we are covering, including machine learning, important interview questions, as well as cloud computing, uh, important interview questions as well. So all these subjects, important interview questions as per the TCS are mentioned in every PDF. They, we have separate PDF for every subject. So if you are preparing for the interview or you want your last minute preparation, then this PDF will be very much beneficial for you. Okay, so uh, the price is very nominal. It is just 99 rupees. The buy links are in the description box. So make sure if you want to study about the commonly asked interview questions, then you can buy this PDF and you can uh, revise your concepts. Okay. Next moving ahead is that uh, moving ahead. Where were we? So next question was what is SDLC? So SDLC stands for software development lifecycle. So it, this is how a software is developed. Like there is a testing phase also, there is development phase also, there is like support phase also. So all these combined is an SDLC process. I hope this question is clear to you. 
Next is what is normalization? So normalization again, I have told you in many videos, normalization is a very important topic in database. So what is normalization? Normalization is nothing, but we want to like break a large table into smaller chunks. Okay, this will help us in removing the redundancy of the data and it will make us query process more easy and simpler, faster. Okay, moving to the next question, types of normalization. So there is 1NF, 2NF, 3NF and BCNF. Okay, so all these uh, no, uh, type of normalization including their definition you should know by heart okay so next question was why do uh, what do you know about latest technologies so any latest technology you can answer like you know about ml you know about this uh, cloud computing you know about java spring boot you know about android so all these things mern stack also so any knowledge that uh, any technology that you know you can mention here okay so since this is a digital interview so they are expecting you to have a basic knowledge on the latest technologies not like specific knowledge just the basic knowledge okay so i hope this question is also clear to you next is what is cloud computing so again a very simple question like if you will tell him cloud computing then they will ask questions from cloud computing basics one only next is what do you mean by microservice architecture so there is two type of architecture so one is like we write the entire code in one repo only in, in one class only but we can divide that piece of code into multiple microservices multiple repositories so this is what a microservice architecture is so it is easy to manage okay so we uh, it is easy to manage we don't have to keep on deploying the entire code again and again only we can check those specific uh, repositories in which there are errors so this is what a microservice architecture is that breaking down a feature into smaller smaller services simple definition okay one line definition so i hope this question is also clear to you next uh, hr questions what are your strengths and weaknesses so again do you know the answer you can mention at least two strengths at least two weaknesses Next is why you want to join our company. So again, why you want to join TCS? You can tell job security. You have ethics. You have values. Employees are happy remaining in TCS. So all these things you can mention that why you want to join TCS as a company. Okay. So next question was they didn't ask me about and my project. So that is also very common. No need to worry. It happens. Okay. So that's all for the interview. So this was a digital interview that I talked about. So I hope now the digital interviews are uh, the questions that were asked in a digital interview was clear to you okay if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section now moving towards the ninja interview that i will be discussing in this video okay so guys now we will be discussing the tcs ninja interview experience this interview also happened yesterday only that is on 13th june 2024 okay so if you are watching this video till here and you are finding it useful do hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel we have an aim for reaching 40,000 subscribers till the end of this month Okay, so do help us in reaching that and do hit that like button. So let's start. So first question is what is multi-threading? So again, multi-threading, again, it's a very common question in Java. So core Java, you have to study about this. So oops concepts, core Java. Okay. And one more thing I want to highlight that you do not like you. Some people were asking me that is Java mandatory. So no, Java is not mandatory for interview. You will be asked that which language you prefer. So you can either answer Java, Python or C++, but make sure that any language that you are telling to the interviewer you must know everything about that language you just study one language but it should be to the perfect okay it should be perfect so what is multi-threading it's a question in java it's a very easy question next is what is a thread so thread is a like uh, uh, thread helps us in running a process that is a program okay next is significance of import java.util.star so it will help us in importing all the packages and all the inbuilt function that is present in this java.util class next is what is method overloading and method overriding again see this question got repeated in earlier also earlier this video also i have told you that this method overloading and method overriding is a very important question whether you are giving the interview for ninja digital or prime do grasp this question very well okay next is can we apply joins on the table so answer is yes so why we you uh, why uh, we apply jo apply joins with table to uh, join the table and to fetch the rest, uh, result from the both of the table. Okay, so therefore we apply joins. Next is this type all types of joins. So there are four types of joins. There is full outer join, there is inner join, there is uh, uh, outer uh, left outer join, there is right outer join. So all these are the types of joins. Next is explain the self join briefly. So again, self join as the name suggests is the table joining itself. So there can be certain scenarios where we have to join at one table to itself only to fetch the result. So therefore, there comes the self join. So I hope this question is also clear. 
नेक्स्ट इज राइट द क्वेरी टू ऑफ सेल्फ ज्वाइन ऑन कस्टमर टेबल सो अगर आई टोल डू सेल्फ ज्वाइन इज अ टेबल ज्वाइनिंग इट सेल्फ सो इट्स क्वेरी इज ऑल्सो नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट यू कैन इजिली फाइंड इट ऑन गूगल आई होप ओके सो मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई वॉज आस्ट टू राइट अड कोड टू स्वैप टू वेरिएबल्स विदाउट यूजिंग द थर्ड वेरिएबल अगेन अ वेरी कॉमनली आस क्वेश्चन इन अ टी सी एस इंटरव्यू आई हैव If you will look look at my notes and if you will compare these two interviews that I have discussed in the video video whether it is digital or whether it is ninja, so you will find that approx 80 to 85 percent questions are common from my notes. If you want to buy them, the links are in the description box. Moving on to the last question of this interview was asked about the projects and few questions related to that. So what is your project? Why you made that project? What was your idea behind? What challenges you faced? What is the future scope of this project? uh so what uh, is this a group project or a uh, single project so all these type of questions can be asked from you from the project level so you will have to be prepared for these okay so i hope these all the questions are clear to you i have covered ninja interview questions also digital interview questions also please hit that like button as well as subscribe button for this channel okay and if you are, if you want some notes to prepare you can refer to our notes uh, they will help you in revising the concepts also and they will help you in the last minute preparation also so all the links you will find in the description box okay so thank you for watching this video